Brian Sachs here with another top originator secret to help you close more, make more, and still enjoy life. This week, we have a question from our loyal viewer, Marvin, in Miami, Florida. He writes, hi, Brian, I've been originating for many years, just like you, and I just heard that Remax is going to have its own in-house mortgage company in their offices. How do you deal with breaking into closed offices or having one of your own realtor partners now bring in its own company? Well, it's a great question, Marvin, and I really appreciate you writing in. And let me tell you that you have absolutely nothing to be afraid of. National statistics that I've read say that the in-house company loan officer only closes 23 to 25 percent of the business in that office. You know what that means? It means that for every 10 deals, they only get two or three. Marvin, that leaves seven or eight for you. But it really is worse than that, and I'm pretty sure what I'm about to say is going to offend some of you, so I apologize. But the attraction for a loan officer to be the in-house loan officer is the feeling that they no longer have to beat the street like we do and chase business. So oftentimes, but not always, they're just not as good a salesperson and lack that closer mentality we all have. Now stop and think about this. We're all only as good as our last deal in the eyes of the realtor, right? So all the in-house loan officer has to do is have one deal go south and they're done. By the way, it doesn't even matter if it was their fault or not, right? Marvin, don't worry about the two to three deals the in-house lender is going to do. Concentrate instead on improving your personal relationships with the realtors in that office. Concentrate on the programs you offer that they don't. Concentrate on your marketing efforts and being of value to your partners in that office and other offices. But most importantly, you need to concentrate on getting to the buyers before the realtors in any other office do. And that way you can control your business, your income, and your relationships. Try working with boomerang buyers. I'm sure the in-house lender has no idea how to work with these buyers that have less than perfect credit. Try marketing to renters like I show in my Renters Into Loans program and refer these buyers you get to the key realtors in that office. See, once you're able to provide these partners with referrals, they will quickly forget that they even have an in-house loan officer. And one last tip. This is the same advice for going after builders with their own in-house mortgage companies. That's one area that way too many loan officers just simply never market to. I'll be back next week with another Top Originator Secret. Make sure you visit TopOriginatorSecrets.com. And if you have a question you'd like me to answer on an upcoming segment, send them to brian at TopOriginatorSecrets.com.